<laughs> it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And no bumper, we're going to get straight into it. So this is my 133 favorite artists. And as you saw from the thumbnail, we're down to number 116. These are all people that I really like. Absolute favorites. 133 sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's not. And these are my favorite artists. My criteria is down below, but basically... 80 minute playlist that I made. I made an 80 minute playlist for every artist, including this one. I'll put the link down below and I rated them, ranked them, been working on this for over a year. And then have I seen the artist in concert? You know, do I read books and articles about them? So just my basic interest. And so anyway, this artist is still alive. He's 79 years old and he started in the 1960s, though he became, uh, famous in the 70s um yeah from bristol england he's got quite a story he was a rock and roll drummer for a canterbury uh band and that band was called soft machine he was also in a band called matching mole and then in june of 1973 when he was inebriated he fell out of a four-story window and he fell uh, and broke his spine, and he's been in a wheelchair ever since, and his music completely changed. He went solo. He had to quit playing drums. He started playing uh, keyboards, trumpet, various kinds of instruments, and I love him. I'm talking about the artist Robert Wyatt. So let's put a, a a little picture of him here from early on when, you know, before the accident, and you can see that he was a drummer. And then I'll show you a more recent picture from the last few years, and here it is. And he's a cool-looking dude, and he's got a very unusual voice, not everybody's cup of tea, but I absolutely love some of his songs, like Age of Self is fantastic. His cover of Elvis Costello's Shipbuilding is better than Elvis Costello's, I think. Uh, he did a cover of The Monkees, I'm a Believer. I like Solar Flares and Soup Song from Ruth is Stranger Than Richard. So yes, have I ever seen him in concert? No, I don't think he's ever been to my hometown. And now that I'm in Mexico, it'll be impossible. And of course, being... Uh, disabled or whatever you want to call it makes it hard for him to tour um so anyway um according to my um uh, discogs i own three cds by him but but i can only find one so let me show you pictures of the first two one is a compilation called mid 80s and it's fantastic i highly recommend it then uh a full-length album called Dondestan. Um, which is some kind of pun, probably a pun on a country. And then I have this library copy of Comic Opera, it's called. Let's see if I can get the title there. Comic Comic Opera. And it's, uh, anyway, he's just fantastic. And he's got a sense of humor. Some of his music is very avant-garde. Some is very political. He's very leftist, uh, probably a socialist. Uh, but that doesn't bother me at all. I love his lyrics. And yeah, Robert Wyatt. So I'll put the playlist below, like I said. it's um, I, I really highly recommend it. If you don't like it on the first listen, give it a second spin. Uh, he's a grower. He's a grower. And I've come to really appreciate him more and more and more over the years. I don't think he's recording anymore, but his last record label was Domino, which is a very highly regarded label. And he's uh, made a couple late career good albums. He's also done a lot of guest appearances, Phil Manzanera, and uh, I think he's on a Bjork album. He's, um, yeah, all over the place, so... Uh, he's pretty active in the studio. And so that's it. Robert Wyatt, big fan. And if you want to support the channel, hit that like or subscribe button. I also have a Patreon page. The link is below in the notes. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.